Men også Kent skal få en tur ut på havet. Siden ingen av de gjenværende norskamerikanerne har nordnorsk blod i årene, har vi valgt å sende han en snartur sørover for å lære mer om sin norske slekt. When Henrietta gave me the letter saying that I was going to my family farm, I was really excited because there's so much more information that I want to learn and be able to share with my family, especially the elderly people in my family, like my grandparents. And they, I want to teach them things that they didn't know because they might not ever get this opportunity. I Eggedal ligger gården Skadeland Nordre. En gård som har gitt livsgrunnlag til Kents forfedre i over 250 år. Og hvor Kents tippoldefar, Helga Halvorsen Skadeland, trodde sine barnesko på 1840-tallet. Det er en veldig følelse å vite at jeg hadde relativer som gikk på dette landet. Jeg hadde ikke vært med disse folkene. Men de er en stor del av hvem jeg er. Men Helga hadde ikke odelt i gården, og som så mange av hans jevngamle eggedøler, lekte han og hans yngre søsken med tanken på å starte et nytt liv i mulighetenes land, Amerika. Når Helga reiste sine tjener, hans mor, Oz, ble mer og mer konsert at hun en dag også ble forrest til å kysse sine beløvde barn goodbye. Men det året Helga ble 21 år gammel, hennes fyr ble en realitet. Helg's urge to seek out his fortune had grown so strong. 21 years of age at that time, you were a man. You know, you went to America to buy yourself with all you had is a little trunk. That's crazy. Helg lived through great sorrow and happiness to make a better life for himself and his family. Despite his success in this, it was only at Skadlin that his heart felt truly at home. That is why in 1914 he again embarked upon the dangerous journey across the Atlantic to once more walk the ground on which you now stand and admire the view <laughs> that you see before you. The farm is still in your family uh, as if it has been for over 10 generations. <laughs> I am 22 years old and I just graduated college and I got an education and here's a 21 year old guy having to... <sighs> put his life on the line to, to, you know, find better life for himself and I need to find my better life, you know, and it's just, it's definitely a motivation for me to become who I want to be in life. 